Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to Faith Connection 777. This is going to be just a quick energy check-in for you guys. This is a timeless reading for Cancer. So if you felt compelled to watch this video, there could be a message here for you, Cancer. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so not all of the messages here will resonate. If they do, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in a private reading, information is in this description box below. Okay, Cancer, let's get into it. We're going to do current energy for Cancer. We'll do four cards. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Very nice. Okay. The wheel is um, turning in your favor here. We'll find out what that's all about. We have the Knight of Swords. Brisk movement forward on in a relationship or perhaps a friendship or family situ job situation, maybe. We have the King of Pentacles. This could be you. This could be the person that you're thinking about. Mastery of your money. Mastery of wisdom and uh, foresight. Basically experience. A why you're very wise okay with money um, relationships a master manager of your life cancer knight of cops Ooh, someone's pursuing you or or you are pursuing them take it how it resonates okay let's figure out what is going on here with this wheel of fortune this is the wild unknown tarot what is happening with cancer here with this wheel of fortune card what's this wheel of fortune all about we have the eight of cups okay you may have walked away from someone interesting we have the four of wands you had some kind of um, family situation with this person you walked away from someone and the Wheel of Fortune showing up here to show that I feel like things are moving in the right direction for you. Um, possibly Five of Swords, there was a lot of arguments with this person. May have been going through a, a divorce. Ace of Swords. Some kind of moment of clarity came to you where you were like, I'm just not going to do this anymore and I want to end it. Okay, um, possibly. We have the Queen of Pentacles, okay? This person, okay. It feels like this conflict was with this Queen of Pentacles. And this, this is a strong feminine energy, someone who's very focused on money, someone who can be a little bit cold, okay? Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Someone who's very focused on the money, seem to be a little bit on the selfish side. Tell me more, Spirit. We have the eight of pentacles okay you're just working away you're focusing on work at this time um you you make your own way you don't need anybody <laughs> i feel like this person may be a little bit codependent on you for some reason or another possibly we have the king of wands and here you are i feel like you're in this confident energy of going for whatever you want in life, not to be held down by this past person anymore. Aside from that, they probably walked away from you. Feels like they left the relationship here. Feels like there's a strong earth energy about this person. There's a lot of pentacle here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, we have the five of pentacles. They feel left out in the cold. <laughs> And then the Wheel of Fortune came, comes out, okay? This was, this was meant to be with this person. Things were not meant to work out with this person. It feels like you're moving on, okay? Um, you're taking what you've learned from this situation. You know, this person was the Queen of Pentacles, but hey, you're the King of Pentacles, or vice versa, okay? Um, they may have tried to use you for whatever reason, and you just... You're moving on. You're not letting it affect your happiness any longer. It feels like you're you're cutting out. Um, you can master your own money and handle your own business. <laughs> okay. What's this Knight of Cups about, Spirit? There's some kind of romantic 
pursuing someone here. King of Pentacles coming through again. Here you are showing up pursuing someone. Who are you pursuing? Hmm. Ace of Swords. You're thinking about someone. You're having some moment of clarity about this person, whether or not you should talk to them, possibly wanting to reach out. You're, I feel like you're po possibly just thinking about this person. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're trying to think about a new foundation for yourself and Two of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so you may not be thinking about someone directly. It just You may be thinking about who you want to pursue, okay? What will be your next relationship? You may not really even have anybody in mind. You may be dating several people at this time. Um, and you may be planting the seeds and, and, you know, not literally, empress. You have an empress here, okay? You may be looking for your true soulmate, okay? Someone who will be your match. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Someone who will make their own money, okay? <laughs> Someone not so reliant on you, okay? You make your money, they make their money. Ten of Wands. You don't want to have to be anybody's burden, and you don't want to have to take on anybody else's burden. you got enough burdens on your own. We all do. <laughs> Six of Swords. There's a parting of ways, okay? Um, with the Six of Swords here, interesting. So you may, may have met somebody that... Um, it feels like you're wavering back and forth on whether or not to leave your marriage here, okay? It feels like you may be pursuing your your spouse who you've separated with for some of you, okay? Um, hmm. But, you know, you could be thinking about somebody that you were dating temporarily and moved away from. But it's possible they could have been a divine feminine here, a water sign with these fishies here. This water sign is a um, very intuitive person. A water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly. It feels like there's just an, it, the energies need to level out. I think that maybe you met each other at the wrong time. You may have been immediately drawn to this person and it fizzled out for whatever reason. Six of Pentacles. I think what's interesting is about this person that you may be pursuing over here, this could be a really equal give and take type of relationship where you're both making the money and equally working together to pull your resources. I think that's a strong possibility with this person if you were to consider considered going with this person, king of wands. And, but you know, you may still just want to play the field and I, I don't mean that in a bad way, it's, it's fine. It's just possibly you just uh, want to take your time, especially if you're getting out of, just getting out of a marriage. You may not really even know about this person. Perhaps you guys have parted ways and but you keep thinking about each other, which is interesting. Spirit, tell me about this Knight of Swords. We'll switch decks again here. Let's see. We haven't pulled from the Lightseer's Tarot. Oh, yes, we have. That's the one I just pulled from. I'm like, how many decks do we need here? Okay, let's pull from this Fountain Tarot. Let's talk about this Knight of Swords. This is really fast-moving energy here. What is this all about, Spirit, for Cancer? Okay, we have the Four of Wands, okay? You might be trying to get your family back together. It's possible for some of you. You could be thinking about a passionate romance with somebody you have a family with. Eight of, Knight of Swords, again, coming a very quick energy. It feels like you feel like you're stuck, okay? There's some kind of... Um, Someone feels left out in the cold, okay? There's swift movement here for, towards the family situation, the family dynamic here. You feel stuck. You possibly feel left out in the cold. You still may feel this way. Two of Wands. You might be thinking about how things could have been with this person. 
These might still be mourning the loss. You might be just with this strength card coming out here. You could be dealing with a Leo, but it could mean that you're trying to tame, tame and uh, bring this person back into your life. Hmm. Someone in your family situation here. Could it be a Leo. Feels like you might. Um, you de you're dealing with family issues at this time is what I'm picking up on, okay? And, you know, relationships really may not be where your focus is right now because you're trying to resolve things with possibly a divorce or, um, you know, possibly out of family with this person. Um, some of you may be trying to reconcile with this person. Some of you may be trying to close a chapter. And it just feels like you're in this stuck energy here. Spirit, tell me more about this King of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. So you're looking toward your future, Cancer. I feel like you know that things are going to end with this person that you are you had a family with. Things are concluding at this time. And so it looks like you're, you're trying to think about what, what new adventures you want to go on next, okay? Yeah, there's a major, there's an ending here. The Six of Swords, y'all are leaving each other. Yeah, this person betrayed you, okay? There's no way you're going back to this person, I feel like, for most of you here. I feel like it's over, but it's still very heavy energy that you're having to deal with here. Um, Queen of Swords, yeah, this person cut you out of their life straight away. They may have cheated on you or abandoned you, possibly the family as well, with these four of wands coming out here. But here you are again, this King of Cups, like this calm energy, not letting this person affect you anymore. Five of Cups. You know, you, you've learned some really valuable lessons in terms of relationships and just feels like you're ready to move on to bigger and better things, happier um, horizons ahead. Um, you know that you can, anything that you face here will come to um, that you can handle it, you know, because you've been through this test. It's really hard for you. And, you know, there's three of swords here. It feels like you may have had your heart broken. And so I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune coming out twice here, you're definitely on the path of a happier days ahead, which is <laughs> excellent news for you, Cancer. Um, but keep checking in, and we'll, we'll keep you updated on what's going on, okay? All right, guys, that's what I have for you guys. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.